Hey Aries Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. Hope you all are doing amazing. This will be a dedicated love reading. Okay, we're going to take a look at the person on your mind. Okay, so someone you're thinking about in love. For some of you, this could be a twin flame. Okay, could be someone you're missing. You're wondering if they're thinking about you. Um, could be someone that everything is going great with, someone you just met. It could even be someone coming into your life. So let's get some context clues here. This person's sun, moon, Venus, or rising sign, possibly. <laughs> Excuse me. We have moon. I'm sorry. <laughs> moon. We have cancer. My most used emoji is confused. Okay. <laughs> so this could be someone who is a cancer, sun, moon, Venus, or, um, yes, sun, moon, rising. I'm sorry. I don't know why I can't get it together, y'all. A sun, moon, a rising, and cancer for some of you. Not everybody, okay? Then we have Aries. I've been told I'm a I'm I've been told by a romantic interest that I come on too strong. So for some of you, this could be an Aries. Okay. Hmm. So your person could be very aggressive. They could be very straightforward. Okay, then we have Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I make an effort to use up all of my vacation time. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> bottom of the deck, we have Scorpio. Betray me once and we're over forever, okay? So for some of you, this could be a Scorpio. So your person, <clears throat> they could be an Aries, Taurus, Cusper, or just have any of these signs. As a sun, moon, or rising placement, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, or Cancer, if you would know that. Like I said, this could be somebody new coming in. You know, I feel like they play coy. I feel like this person is very confident, a straight shooter, like I said. But I think that, you know, my most used emoji is this. It's like they may be like, um, how do I want to say this? Like the kind of person who flirts with you. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what's going on with my throat chakra. But um, somebody that flirts with you and then when you say something back that matches their energy, they kind of like, wait a minute now. You know, wait a minute. Like, I'm supposed to be the aggressive one, but maybe you are an Aries, so maybe you give it right back to them. So it could definitely be a twin flame. But let's move these out of my way and let's get on to these cards. All right, person on Aries mind. Y'all take what resonates, leave what doesn't. How are they feeling about you right now? We have work, workaholic, trying to work things out and work romance. For some of you, this is someone you work with or someone who works a lot. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong Virgo, I would say. Taurus and Virgo. <clears throat> okay, this could be also someone who wants to work something out with you right now. Okay, maybe... I don't know. Maybe you two aren't speaking or something's going on right now. What is it that you don't see coming? What's next for you and this person? We have awakened love. Awakened love. New love and open heart. This could be somebody brand new. Wow. Some of you, I'm noticing he's drinking coffee. There's a coffee cup here. Something could be significant about coffee, a coffee shop, or I don't know. What's the challenge, if any, between you two? Any obstacles that could be standing between you two? What's the challenge you two may be facing right now? These cards are so sticky. There's too many. I just want one. I guess I'm just going to have to pull, y'all, because they're, they're kind of sticky. The challenge right now is worth fixing. Keep trying and don't give up. <laughs> okay. So, for some of you... You might have two people showing up here. Hold on, y'all. I don't know. My throat chakra is blocked. Maybe you are not talking to this person. I don't know. Maybe communication is difficult between you two. I feel like somebody is either awakening to this love for you, and maybe you two haven't been able to work it out in the past, or this is someone new coming on the end of at the tail end of another relationship. You may find yourself falling in love with somebody at work. What's the outcome? The person on Aries mind. What's the outcome? the outcome the outcome is not talking i just said that not listening and blocked hmm. that's why my throat chakra is blocked okay bottom of the deck we have pink enjoyment happiness and sweet i feel like 
somebody right now, most likely you, you're making the best of a situation right now. I actually feel like for some of you, um, there are two people showing up here, okay? I do feel like um, there could be an earth sign coming towards you or someone that you work with, and there could be someone here who you just couldn't make it happen with for whatever reason. I don't know. Why are they showing up there? I guess because they're still on your mind, because I'm asking about the person on your mind. So let's see. Maybe some of you are wondering about someone. What's going on with this work situation? This feels like a new person, unless you met your past person at work. We have the strength card. Oh, somebody's trying to fight their temptation. I'm here fighting temptation by Beyonce. And then we have the hermit in reverse. Okay, wow. I actually feel like there could be a Leo or a Virgo in your energy. You got two majors. There's somebody that wants to reach out to you. It says trying to work things out. Um, but it feels like they're holding back. What's wrong with them? Why are they holding back? What is this? The Six of Swords in reverse. Hmm. They feel like if they reach out to you, an argument will, I don't know. You two will get into it. Because the Six of Swords in reverse talks about a trauma bond. And it also talks about jumping out the frying pan into the fire. Maybe right now, everything is just quiet between you two. <clears throat> it says you're not talking. And I do see somebody holding back. But it feels like it's like they want to come out of hermit mode. And they feel like if they do, there's going to be something that blows up. Something's going to backfire on them. It's going to be more of the same drama from before. Ace of Pentacles. You have a new love coming in. For some of you, you're going to meet someone at work. A Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is a solid, stable offer. <laughs> I just heard I don't want to hold you back. So there is someone showing up here that I'm, I think they feel like you deserve better than they treated you, Aries. What's awakened love? So this is a new love. Who's this new love? Nine of Swords. Gemini energy. This could be someone who is not speaking up because they're nervous. The King of Pentacles is a boss. Aries Taurus Cusper. Hmm. You know what it is? There's someone I feel like watching you. This not a source feels like it might be you. Some of you could be going through a lot of sleepless nights right now, okay? Maybe just a lot of insomnia for whatever reason, or you're just worried about something, or you're nervous about something. Maybe some of you feel like, um, you know, am I ever going to be able to get the love that I desire? Or maybe you're up thinking about a past person, or someone who's currently in your energy. There's someone else here looking at you. A very stable offer. You got the Ace of Pentacles. It's like this is a, a person who wants to be there for you, be in your corner. This is a generous provider, somebody with the Midas touch, okay? This is a um, <clears throat> distinguished gentleman, a boss. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to make life easier for you. The Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands? The Page of Wands. Okay, so... I feel like for some of you, there's a past person here, a Sagittarius for some of you, a Leo Aries or Sagittarius. I feel like there's someone um, that you are releasing maybe reluctantly, okay? Maybe the person on your mind you still feel attracted to, you still feel some feelings for, but I do feel like you're holding back because you already know like how, how the story goes. Like, why am I going to keep on repeating the same pattern, okay? Not learning my lesson. This is like refusing to learn a lesson. So it's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm ready for something stable, solid, and new. And I see a message coming in or somebody like flirting with you, but it feels like this person is older. They're at least 40 years old and they could be an Aries or a Taurus. They can have their own business. They're very solid, very grounded, very stable, very trustworthy, very loyal, dependable, all of that. And I feel like they are going to be like the voice of reason in your life. Almost like, you know, why are you stressing over? The way he's looking at this person on his on his bed, like, look how he's looking like, you know, why are you stressing over that person? I'm right here. <laughs> it says new love, somebody with an open heart. And I do feel like um, you will have fun with this person. It's almost giving me the vibe that it could start off really, really fun, okay? 
But some of you, the person could actually be younger. They could just be financially stable, okay? A Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Taurus for some of you. So what's worth fixing? Some of you feel like this past relationship is not worth fixing. Oh, yeah, because it was toxic. Maybe somebody had addictions or you felt codependent on them. Remember I said a trauma bond over here. Capricorn energy with the Queen of Swords. Yep, some of you have made a decision to cut someone off. Queen of Swords is off with your head, right? And her back is turned to the devil. So this is an ex. This is some kind of unhealthy relationship that you turned your back on and said it's not worth fixing. Okay, because this is the challenge. And what's going on with not talking? Is this the new person? Temperance. This person could be quiet. <clears throat> That's coming towards you. Could be a Sagittarius Earth Angel energy with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is slow. They're slow. Knight of Pentacles. I mean, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Temperance. They're slow moving. Could be a Virgo. Could be a Sagittarius. I feel like you work with this person. They could have a beard. They could have red hair or dark hair. They could wear glasses. They could be in a position of power at work. And then the bottom of the deck is four of wands showing up with pink, enjoyment, happiness, and sweet. Some of you are truly attracting a twin flame, and it could be an Aries. You're about to meet someone in close proximity to you. You could, oh my God, oh my God, look at this. The two of cups and a ten of pentacles with the four of wands. Like this is your happily ever after. This is your forever person. This is somebody you're building an empire with. This is your other half, your soulmate, a kindred spirit. And a twin flame shows up. Yeah, so you have possibly a Cancer, a Virgo, or an Aries coming towards you. Okay, wow. Some of you are giving up very strong Queen of Wands energy. This is Aries energy. I feel like you're attracting a lot right now in the way of love. Yes, you are. A Knight of Cups. Somebody is interested in you. I feel like this person might be slightly younger than you, even though they feel very mature. So don't let the age difference um, dissuade you from getting to know this person. Let's get one of these. Spirit, what is this relationship coming towards Aries? Or what is their advice? Because it might be about the past person. And the past person will be someone who's on your mind. Okay. Wow. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or both qualities you possess. It's a twin flame. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Some of you, you have a twin flame showing up here. You do. This is twin flame energy, soulmate energy. Okay, so I do feel like um, be mindful of bringing baggage from a past relationship because this can be baggage. Now, the good thing is, you know, it was in reverse. I do feel like... Um, some of you are holding back from someone that you see as emotionally unavailable or something like that. I just hear the worst part of a situation has come to an end, or it is. I feel like someone's very peaceful. They could be very quiet, too. Could definitely be a workaholic, the Knight of Pentacles, okay, a perfectionist, somebody who is grinding right now, okay? So if you have any complaint about them, it might be the fact that they work a lot. But that's what I'm seeing for you, okay? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.